I'm Jonas. Yeah, TNT Don. I'm yes, the explosive are. one. Uh, this is 10 minutes or less. Let's start the timer. Heck yeah. Uh, TNT, um, did you ever uh, did you ever go up in Cleveland near the Brown Stadium? Like if you're walking towards the stadium where you, there would be that guy playing the saxophone, like a kind of like I don't know if he's a bum, wow. but like he was standing under the bridge. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So I saw an article that I guess running around the country, there are people doing that with saxophones or violins and they're playing fake music and they're not really playing. They're just trying to get money. So they're actually like, pl they're playing violin, but there's like a speaker playing violin. Yeah. And okay. I got to wondering, I wonder if that saxophone dude was really playing or if he was just playing a damn speaker. Like I walked by him a hundred times on the way to the Brown stadium, mm. but I was like, so I was like, is, is that, <laughs> here's the thing. Is that bad? They're still out is there trying bad? to make, like, <laughs> I see if they're playing the music, Yo. they're making a lot more money, but if they're putting on a show, regardless, they're still paying for the show. Right. Is, there is something so alluring about that that idea of the man the homeless man who for some reason knows how to play the piano or play right. the drums or play the the saxophone better right. than you could like the, it's like you look at him and you're like man i don't envy this part of this life but i envy that part of this life and it's right. just something so alluring and so captivating about that that people will sit around and gather around and watch that so is it is it bad I mean, for the integrity of what industry? Like, what? <laughs> and that's what I mean, right? Because there's panhandlers, like homeless guys that just sit there and literally yeah. hold a hat and say, give me yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. Whether you're playing the violin or faking playing violin, you're putting yeah. on a show. Yeah, this is this is a lawless industry, man. We're talking about this industry is all about, hey, I need to get yeah. whatever I need for today. Well, because here's my thought. You see, like... In, okay, for those of you who aren't familiar in Austin, on the frontage roads of the freeway, there's always people at every freaking traffic light begging for money. And, but they always have a sign. And dude, and sometimes it's like, donate to my kid's youth soccer program. And I'm like... I've seen that. And I'm always like, are you really having a fundraiser for your kid's youth soccer program? <laughs> or are you buying just, it. But like... <laughs> You know, it's but the it's, same thing. But it's legal to do is the thing. It's legal to go on the street and ask people for money, which is kind of nuts. But but I think it's illegal to mislead people why they're giving you money. So I think, like, if the cops came up and found the guy who's his kid's soccer, and he's like, let me see the information about your kid's soccer, and he's like, oh, I'm just begging. I think that's yes. fraud. Yeah. Okay. It's but, like those people. It's like those people that pretend to be homeless. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You sit there all day. Get, and, yeah, yeah. Then they get into their Chevy Aztec. I don't even know if Chevy <laughs> makes it. Who makes the Aztec? I, I don't even remember. That's not even a car anymore. I don't think. <laughs> but that's what. That's the kind of car I would picture a person getting into that was pretending to be homeless. I'm sorry. Right. It's an, but it's so it's it's like, you know, people put on shows all the time. Sometimes even musical artists will like lip sync to a track of their own yeah. song you know and they you'll go see them and millie vanilli made money off just not doing anything yeah that's fair they didn't go to jail they just like fell off the face of the earth when everyone found out they weren't actually singing they didn't get in so, trouble for that so yeah i don't know if the person is actually homeless then yes i do not fault them for their hustle because it is a hustle Oh but yeah. If you're if you're just like uh you know just like a normal person, like if you're being misleading to begin with, you're being misleading. So yes, but if you're actually homeless, then yo yeah, put a put a Beats by Dre inside a, inside, inside your guitar and go out there <laughs> and make that money. Do and play that. Play sublime covers on acoustic. Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna who's like, gonna tell you you're lying? So until I you get like a musician if... musician in the audience, and then they're like, he's not even moving his fingers right. Right, right. Have you ever, have you ever seen the colluding homeless people? Like you can tell that they're like, it'll be like, colluding. there's been times where I'll be like at a light, right? And there'll be a guy sitting there with a sign or whatever. And then you'll see another guy walk up to him. He has a sign too. You can tell they're both like, at least trying to portray themselves to be homeless. Okay. They come together, 
they start, they talk, they whatever. One guy starts like pointing down the road, like whatever. And then the other guy grabs, and then the one guy goes and walks off and the other guy stands there and takes up the spot. And I'm like, so are you like trying to run a hustle on these different corners and you're all working together and like whatever. Uh, and I've maybe, also heard maybe. that, that people are very protective of their spots. Like if like, I'm trying to raise money for my kid's soccer program and I go to a corner to collect money and that's normally your corner that they'll come up and be like, Hey, hit the road. Right, rightfully so. Rightfully it's so. Public, you got to pay rent. It's a public effing street, dude. How's it your corner? <laughs> because if it's actual homeless people, that's how they make their money. I don't care. I have no stock. Like I don't put a price on the corner. And like who can stand there and ask for money that's i go to work all right so, <laughs> yeah, so I, mean, I, I don't need too, yeah. i don't i don't know the the value of that corner has zero in my book like the value of a pack of cigarettes in prison is way higher than it is on the streets all right so right, right, the yeah. value of a corner to a group of people who need that corner to facilitate their necessities in life Yo, that corner costs way more than it is to him. You can have yeah, a corner. Yeah, we talked about that about with prison. It's like it's like in prison, you'll get stabbed over some ramen. Exactly. Because like, ramen means a lot in prison. Like, if somebody stole my ramen in real life, I'll be like, you're a dick, but take that ramen, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stick up. I need one of your bags of chicken ramen. Here? <laughs> yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, but in prison, you're like, you owe me 10 ramen. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, that's done. That's a dollar, right. 10 cents. I yeah, don't know, I, I think, inflation. I think they're more but... expensive now. I think they're like, yeah. dude, I remember ramen was like seven cents back in the day. I think it's like, I think it's like 30 cents now or something. Uh, but... I remember going to Aldi's and 10 for a dollar. Yeah. That's yeah, what dude. I remember. Aldi still exists, dude. It does My... still exist. Yeah. Yeah. I always like save a lot better than Aldi's because you had to put the, the, the quarter in for the cart. <laughs> and you can either return your cart and put the little chain in and get your quarter back or yeah. you just left it and then but, they get to keep your quarter yep and i never cared about the... that quarter. did you ever care about the quarter were you I quarter give back I, well, I didn't care so much about the quarters i i just i i try to always return my cart to at least oh, to the yeah. cart corral before there were cart corrals i would try to take it back to the store i never was really leave your cart in the parking spot guy yeah i'm not that guy either i always take my cart back but the quarter yeah. for the carts i didn't care about that stuff so. Yeah, like, yeah. Know, take, but take it's quarter. it's it's always interesting when you think about that sort of stuff because it it I don't know what the like here's my other thing if you're homeless where the hell did you get a violin and that's what you're and that's what you're concerned about holding on to I'm not gonna I don't know man I don't know what lives they live but you know those people usually come from a place where they had stuff I guess and then like you can only take certain things with you. And I so, guess it's small enough to carry around, right? Yeah, like, and if, if hey, look, and the violin's going to make you money. That's true. I think if I ever became homeless and was trying to panhandle, I would like. What I are you going to do? I, What's your hustle going to be? I think I would make little paintings. You'd make little paintings, okay? Like, because that way I feel like I'm selling something rather than just being like, "Can I have some money?" I'll be like holding up these like little paintings and be like, and someone can buy the little painting off off of me. <laughs> <laughs> Right? I'm just gonna slang dick. Oh wow. You're just gonna like, What? Just, you're just like you gotta keep how are you gonna get clean? You gotta have a planet fitness membership and get in there and take your showers and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess, man, but I'll i <laughs> slang it. Yeah. Twenty five dollars a minute. <laughs> a minute. Oh, an hour. An hour. Sorry, an hour. Wow, that's a that, I don't know hey. which one's worse. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a competitive market, so you gotta twenty five dollars <laughs> an hour for your you're like that's more than most people make at their jobs, Jonas. That's true. That is very, <laughs> right. That's right. I guess, I guess when you think about it that way, where like, I could always go to Chick Fil A and volunteer for free entrees. Do they do that? Did you hear? You didn't hear about that? No. Uh, well, we, we're out of time anyway. Yeah, right? we are out of time. Yeah, it's yeah. Fine. So, anyways, that that's all. That's all the time we have for this episode. Go to crazytown.com. We will get into Chick Fil A money next time for Jonas. TNT. Oh, uh, yeah.